Hey everybody, we are live and I have with me the amazing Lori from California because Lori shared with me, she she sent me a Facebook message, okay? Now, before she before I go into that, Lori, I just sent off 12 books for you today. So you should be getting them for your northern, your southern, your wherever you are in California. We're we giving them to you. So so super cool. So anyway, Lori she sent me this amazing Facebook message and I, my mouth is like hanging open and I'm thinking she's got to share this because this, this is so much deeper than, uh, you know, like a movement of Twin Points Across America that, that, you know, that's titled, that's a name, but what she's going to share is something that, that this is like a full circle moment through forgiveness, through well, I don't want to share it all. This is Lori's story, but you guys, like, these are the things we never know what's going to happen. When you get the nudge that says act, take the take the time, you know, go and do something. So you're doing it, and you're like in the dark, but you're like, okay, I guess I'm, I guess we keep going. These are the things that we can't see, but God knows, and He can see all. And so, if we take our part and take the action, exercise the faith. These are the, these are the results, and it, it's just amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna be quiet. So Lori, you have the floor. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share this. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory. Um, growing up, I had a lot of hatred and animosity against my biological father be, because of his abandonment. And so over the years, our relationship has been very rocky, and a lot of um, you know, just a lot of hatred towards him and um, blaming him for a lot of my misfortunes growing up. However, through the writing journey, um, we were able to reconnect and actually we have an awesome relationship today because of the forgiveness process. Now in that, uh, my husband and I, we visited him, um, what, a couple weeks ago. And I was telling him about this movement of Pinpoints Across America and about how we're trying to get into shelters, domestic violence shelters. And I was sharing my frustrations because in California, because of the COVID and because of the confidentiality with, you know, protecting the women in these shelters, I've been having a hard time getting in the shelters. And so I was sharing my frustration with him just, you know, on the fly. Well, a week later, he calls me and he wants to donate a car and he was asking me if I know anybody from my church that would be interested in, in the car that he has. And I told him I hadn't been going to church because of COVID and we're doing a lot of stuff online. And then so a few days later, he calls me and he says, Lori, never mind that. I actually sold the car and my heart dropped. And I'm thinking, oh, no, dad, in my heart, like, you know, he was going to do something great, give him back. And then I thought, oh my goodness, he sold the car. And he goes, but wait a minute, I am donating it to Stand, which in the Bay Area it is the major hub for all of the domestic violence shelters. They do prevention. I mean, they're just the hub for all of the services here in the Bay Area. So he actually um, called the lady to donate this very generous gift from selling the car. And he said, by the way, my daughter is a local author and she has partnered with another author that is a domestic violence survivor. And is there any way you can give her a call so that you can have a conversation about they can donate the books to the shelter, to the ladies? And she called me the next day. And so I had this lengthy conversation with her and we, my dad and I have an appointment with Stan so that he could give his generous donation and that I can give our books, my book and April's book. And so I'm going to take a picture with my father and, you know, I'm just so excited because this is, yes, April, it's coming full circle. And this is so much more than just donations. This is like my father has, um, he's really opened his heart and wants to give back to the community. And I can't wait to write this story up and share it. But that's just the bottom line that this is amazing. <laughs> It is. I want to, it I want to, is. I want to do the happy dance, you know. And it's so great because other people are getting 
involved in this. And I feel like this is so much bigger than donating. This is like such a powerful movement. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of it, April. I really am. And I just thank you for this opportunity because, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's huge. It's huge. And that's my story. <laughs> I love it, Lori. This is, this is so awesome. It's, it is. It is the happy dance time because light goes out. Your story goes out. That I mean, look, your dad. He has worked through things. Now you guys have connected. You have a relationship. And now he wants to give back to the community. Now there's a full organization called Stand that's accepting the things that you have that will allow you to get in and it limits the frustration. And I think that's the key is action. The key is action. We You didn't know that plan. And it wasn't like you could say, hmm, I'll plan all this no out. Idea. No idea. And now we're but, in April because she is the hub of so many organizations in the Bay Area. This is just a matter of time, right? Right, and, right. And, yeah, I'm so excited. And yeah, it's just, you're, you're right. The action and then just doors start flying open. And I had no idea that this was going to happen the way it did. I mean, I've been getting into shelters, like the homeless shelters for women. You know, I've been getting in those, but the domestic violence shelters, that has been a block for me. And who would have ever guessed that my father, the one I used to hate, would actually get that door opened. It's amazing. It's just amazing. It is, it is amazing. And uh, so many people are popping up here and sharing like, what well, mouth open. This is <laughs> this is one of those parts where you just think, how, how does it happen? And it happens because <laughs> you took action. That's awesome. Okay, so Lori, I cannot wait to take the picture, share that story, write it up. We'll be looking forward to it on Tuesday, probably Wednesday, whenever it comes. This is so uh -huh. exciting. So I wanted to celebrate this because I have asked for light for the last 31 days through the month of October. And if it's possible to be able to get into shelters, you know, every day or at least to 31 shelters throughout the month time. And so for today's light, this, Lori, you now have an open door to go in to not yeah. just one, but a whole organization. Yes. And yes. that's yeah. the power to really strengthen these survivors to change lives so that they can become healed and, you know, everything can really go forward. And your words, your work, your connections, if you think about your whole lifetime and when you first started to make amends with your dad, if that wouldn't have happened, this door wouldn't have opened. No. So it's just amazing. And the action you took by asking forgiveness, replacing that with love, who would have known? We never know. Yeah. So if we just take the action, work on the faith, miracles happen. Miracles happen. Yeah. And I got to do a happy dance with my dad. And that was really cool too. <laughs> super, super awesome. Lori, you're amazing. I'm going to, um, we'll, we'll check out from here. It was just a short, quick live. We wanted to share the story and put it out there for everybody. Thank you for coming. Thank you for popping in here. And you look beautiful today. Thank Absolutely you. beautiful. <laughs> love it love it okay so um we'll wait for the story to come out and again you guys this is day three look at all the light that happened today keep shining you guys forever shine out there be that beacon of light all right y'all we'll see ya Bye.